this resisting. Ah. To lift the engine up from the mount, I need to make some kind of lifting device. I'm planning on uh, buying 2x4 uh, wood and, and make a setup that I can mount a small crane to lift the engine up. And after that, we can slide it forward. Why didn't I move the engine backwards? Well, I was quite tempted to do that actually, to free some space ahead while this area is narrow and is less usable, while that forward area is quite much more flat. Firstly, the strength of the boat is where the engine bed presently is situated. However, I could make a new engine bed behind the engine but that would provide a lot of work and I will definitely would have to put the weight on the engine bed on the, the keel and I'm not sure it's meant to be put weight on that keel. I don't know if it's metal or something else that's underneath that. The whole side is quite uh, steep so it's not much to lean on. It makes it a risk and it makes it lots of work. And I don't think the gain is worth it. However, I would really not like to put the diesel tank back. So I will need to think differently about that. Maybe two diesel tanks. Why did I keep the wooden structure, namely plywood, as the interior of the new engine bed? and not steel. Well, steel would be very elegant, especially stainless, and uh, it would be strong, quite easy to connect to the old engine bed. However, it transfer more noise. It needs to be made. I'm not a welder, but I know welders. Uh, yeah, at least one guy, my cousin Tom, he's a welder. No, he's not really, but uh, he, he, he has the knowledge to weld. Anyway, but having plywood gives me the possibility to gloss it all in and also to sideways strength the present engine bed. So that's the plan. I will also need to change some of the present engine bed. It's too short. I will need to extend the present engine bay. It's too short on the aft. It's ending actually before the aft uh, engine mount, that's it called. And uh, I will need to extend it further back. I will probably go about 15 centimeters or so, four or five, five inch, six maybe backwards. There is not much tearing down left now, there is almost nothing left of the interior of the boat. But this wall will need to be cut the piece off so we can have the engine brought forward. It is resisting.
Nice. I've been seeing a lot of engine oil coming from underneath the engine bed and I've been explaining that with the old engine, the Volvo leaking oil probably and hence changing it for a new engine but it seems however that this engine actually leaks oil finding out while having these planks underneath the engine in just a few hours not good Pablo, why do you think the motor's only coming loose on one side? It's those stubborn... Uh, bolts? Bolts, yes. The threads are stuck to the wood. Why only on one side? Ah, oh, it's the stubborn side. So we had to fight it. This bolt keep not coming loose. I was furious. Ah! But luckily, my daughter came up with a great idea. She said, why don't you just cut it off? Straight over here, we can leave the wood and the bolt intact. And we can just split the wood later. So that's what we'll obviously do. was a stupid screw. A stupid screw. We finally managed to fight this engine bed. Now the engine is hoovering and we'll figure out a way to pull it forward. <laughs> I've just been informed by Bondoro that this motor is actually not hoovering, it's hovering. If it was hoovering, I guess it would suck away the dust that we need. It would be practical, but we prefer it to hover. Let's move the engine forward. That's clear. Hör motorn träffa den? Oh my 
my goodness. Oh, tell us how you feel. Well, after this hard fight, I would say I got this round. I'm asking about the last thing that just happened now. Oh, it's just a small breakage. It was just a small piece of cheek that was underneath the plywood. And uh, it shouldn't cause a problem. But we still have secured the engine on the mount. This A mount. Is that what it's called? Sure. Probably not. That's what we call it. We call it an A mount. Because this is Norway. And, and we are patriots. We are patriots. Why is it leaking? That's a good question. This Sh engine is five years old. It shouldn't leak oil. Should we be concerned? No. No. Nah. I don't think so. We'll fix this. Yes. We can see the engine bed as it was original for the old Volvo Penta MD3, I think it was. This boat used to have a 30 horsepower engine. Now what will happen is that uh, I will build a, a something like a 4x4 four four made of plywood that is glued together with epoxy. It's probably more like 4x3, four, 3 by three, three in width and, and 4 in height. And I will glass it in so it uh, becomes part of this old structure. That will not be enough. I will also have to stiffen up the structure since it become way higher than it was originally as we can see. So I will uh, make some structures sideways and, and uh, attach to the hull and to the engine bed. So uh, in that uh, manner, we will get a stronger seat for the engine to rest on. So that's a bright idea, isn't it? Bright idea. So why do we find a light bulb underneath the engine? Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, please uh, leave a like and uh, consider subscribing to the channel. In this way you can uh, help us and uh, we will notify you with the video coming up. Follow us in this exciting run to restore this old Fisher 30 Northeaster. Have a nice evening.